everyone, everyone. Welcome to Make Thrift Try. So if you haven't watched the first three videos of this series, the Make Thrift Try challenge is every two months I make a video where I upload a couple of options that you then vote on and then DIY yourself. It's like a community challenge where you, the community, gets to try out some DIYs and then you have the chance to be featured in these videos. If you still don't get it, you'll get it pretty soon. So last month's theme was upcycled jeans and I've really been enjoying seeing what people have been making there's been some amazing creativity going on here from denim dresses to backpacks to pouches to purses stuffed toys plushies berries hats I've loved loved seeing what you're all creating but as this video can't go on forever I'm just Oh, this piece of hair is driving me crazy but as this video can't go on forever I'm just going to pick my favorite 20 upcycled jean projects and show them to you all. These are ones that were uploaded to the Make Thrift Try 3 tag this month. And I have to limit it to 20 because otherwise this video would go on forever. Because I just I just want to talk about everyone's projects there. Oh my god, they're amazing. So if I don't talk about your project, I still love it. And thank you so much for entering. I hope you had so much fun. Now I have to choose 20 to actually talk about today and it is gonna be tough, but let's give it a go. Okay, first off. I need to talk about this dress. Space Ghost made an upside down pair of jeans into a dress. Now I have seen this kind of thing from really fancy fashion designers. I think you've all seen me ranting about the weird ways that designers try to upcycle jeans and then sell them for like literally $8,000. This one is actually upcycled, which makes it Fantastic. I really like this. It actually looks really cool. It looks like they put, was it a zip or fleece or something inside the collar there? Or is it just the teared up bit of the fabric? I'm not sure. But I really like that you used a light denim color because it actually looks like quite a cool dress when you pair it with uh, a black top and pants underneath. I think this is extremely inventive and it makes me rethink my hatred of upcycled jeans in high fashion. No, I still hate them because they are selling them for $8,000 a pop. But I love this. This person here made an upcycled Christmas tree out of denim fabric for the Christmas that just passed and then made a little beaded ball for a star on the top. I think this is fantastic and I also want to know if you put presents under this tree and if you made any upcycled baubles for it. Is it like the end of a couple of pairs of jeans just wrapped around in a spiral or is it several different sizes of cuffs kind of stacked up on top of each other? It's fantastic either way. I really love this idea from Luli Lu. What they've done it looks like is get a pocket from a pair of jeans and turn it into a coin purse and then embroider a little flower on the edge of it as well. I think using a pocket of a pair of jeans to create a coin purse is really good because it's like kind of the perfect size for a little coin purse wallet. Oh my gosh, I didn't notice this before, but they've done a little embroidered or crochet, a little kind of flower 3D bauble on the end to attach to the zip to make the zip it easier to open. That is such an amazing touch. Okay, the next one I want to show you all is this person here made their own jacket out of recycled jeans. And actually a few people have done this. So if I don't get to all of you, I'm really sorry. This person did upload this first. It's so cool seeing how many of you were inspired to make a project like this. So this denim jacket was made from a few different pairs of jeans and that's how you've ended up with the different colors and patches here. And I think it looks freaking awesome. I love how you've managed to line up the seams of the jeans along the back there like that. That's, oh my God. And get a seam right down the middle. You are very good at sewing. I don't think I could create something like that. That's awesome. Oh, this is Luli Lu again. So Luli Lu, look at this. Look at this. I'm freaking out. They created. Okay, this denim handbag, but wait, but wait. Then they painted a picture of my face on it. What? <laughs> what? My face is on a bag. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. And then they put a chain as a strap. Okay, number one, you are an amazing sewist. Number two, you're an amazing artist. Number three, 
Oh my god, my face is on a bag. Do you wear this around? Do people ask who it is and then you're like, oh, some girl from YouTube? That's weird. I'm on the internet. I'm not in real life. This is real life. What? <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh. I really, really, really love this nappy bag slash handbag, but it's good size for nappies and putting on the back of a pram that Ali France and Artist created here. They made it out of different scraps of jeans of all different colors. How many jeans was this made out of? That's what I want to know. This is absolutely fantastic. And wow, it clips on to the handlebars of the pram using a different strap. And then it can also go over the shoulder as well as a handbag. This is fantastic. It's really functional and it is so cool. This person here has made a bustier top, which is worn here over this white blouse out of upcycled jeans <laughs> and they've written in their caption rumor has it if you manage to say make thrift try three three times really fast in front of a mirror little pine needle will teleport to wherever you are it's true i tried it the other day and duplicated myself when i traveled from an opposite dimension guys it's 36 degrees outside i don't make sense anymore anyway this looks absolutely fantastic i can't imagine that doing a bias binding or is it a hem using denim is your bias binding using denim i can't imagine that was easy but the effect is really freaking cool good work this is absolutely gorgeous and you made it out of a pair of jeans your brother had destroyed so very good upcycling this is gorgeous this person has made a little vest i think it's a vest no it's a romper ah it's a little romper and that's the legs this person has made a little romper with little press stud buttons for their nephew, who I am guessing is a child. And it is also lined with polka dot, blue polka dot fabric. They made it for their sister. Oh, they made it for their nephew out of their sister's old jeans. So I'm guessing it's your sister's child. This is so sweet. Oh, this has warmed my heart. And they also made a dinosaur version as well. This isn't made out of jeans, but it's the same pattern. It's adorable. Okay, so a few people actually did a similar upcycle to this. Again, I am showing uh, Island Jensen's one because it's the first one that was uploaded, but a lot of people tried it. You should all go and check out the Make Thrift Try 3 tag because it's amazing. Anyway, Island Jensen turned an old pair of jeans into an overall dress. Seriously, wow, it looks fantastic though. Like it seriously just looks like you bought an overall dress. This is amazing. And the pocket on the middle, did you just pull a pocket off the old jeans and attach it to the middle that is such a good idea this is so cute are you from island where are you from no your name is island where is it snowing where you're from it's very pretty <laughs> where you're posing in front of and because it's 36 degrees right now i want to be where you are that's 36 degrees celsius by the way which is 100 degrees fahrenheit i'm melting anyway this is very cute island jensen good work threading flowers has upcycled a pair of jeans. The embroidery is beautiful. These kind of flowers, if you know how to embroider, um, they look so effective, but they are actually relatively, not trying to demean your project. I'm just saying if anyone wants to try this, they're relatively easy to stitch. Um, and it, but it looks so delicate and like you spent so much time on it, which I'm sure you have, because I know embroidery. I know from experience that embroidery takes a long time. I really, really particularly love these, what are they called? Dandelions. I really, really particularly love these dandelions that you've embroidered here. I really want to go and embroider dandelions now. I've never thought of doing that before. This has definitely inspired me. This is such a gorgeous pair of jeans. Do you wear them all the time? Because I would. Oh my gosh. Okay. So they've done another pair of jeans. I'm not counting this as an extra one because I have so many to talk about. But Threading Flowers has done a second pair of jeans here. And this time they have used flowers to cover up holes in their jeans. You can see the little bit of darning that they've done there, but then they've just put cute little flowers all around it. So you can't tell that there's a hole there. This looks so cool. It almost looks like a constellation made out of flowers. I love it. It's beautiful. This must have taken such a long time. And the dedication to denim in this outfit is amazing. This person is wearing a denim headband, a denim jacket. Is it a dress? Whoa, okay, so they're trying to make a denim jacket and it somehow turned into, and it somehow turned into a wearable denim dress and a shoulder bag. You have blown Brittany and Justin right out of the water. This denim dress though, is it, 
<laughs> and thank you very much for including a photo of your dog at the end there. You know that that's the way to my heart. I am wondering how heavy is the denim dress? Like, it must be a little bit heavy, right? I mean, it would be warm. That would be a great thing about it. How many pairs of jeans did you use? That is what I want to know. Wow, okay, so on the bag that they made, they used the pockets from a pair of jeans as pockets on the back of the bag, which is ingenious. And the fly? on the front is still functional or it's another pocket. That's really cool. You have made me one proud mate thrift try mum. This person here has done something really interesting, which was attach some denim sleeves onto a hoodie. And the denim has kind of like rips in the, in the sh shoulders. That is not shoulders. That's not anatomy. Elbows. The denim has holes in the elbows. So what do they say about it? Two years ago, I bought a jeggings, jeggings from Zara and from the beginning it started to rip several times. <laughs> okay, so you bought jeggings from Zara that became the sleeves of this. And you know what? The rips, you place them perfectly at the elbows to give it that distressed look and it's a really freaking cool jacket. And here's the original jeggings, the offenders and the finished jacket. I love this. I love when people put in progress photos like this. It really just like tells a little story. This is such a cool upcycle. Well done for making use of a pair of clothes that fell apart. This is Oswald the plushie and Oswald is so cute. Oswald is wearing a bright purple jacket and has super cute little emo hair going on and I love it. I love Oswald. Who's Oswald Cobblepot? Oh, this is a thing. This is somebody. I literally had no idea who Oswald Cobblepot. Oswald Cobblepot. This is a Batman villain. Is this the penguin? Is this the dude that plays the penguin? I know nothing about superheroes. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you want to see me know even less about superheroes, you should go and listen. I'm going to show you a little plug to mine and Lynchy's podcast episode, Watch, Read, Listen. You should listen to episode 18. It's uh, an episode where I know nothing about superheroes, so you can all love me even more, so. Little promotion. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This person has made a absolutely a gorgeous wrap dress out of these both old denim pieces. This dress is absolutely gorgeous. I actually have a pattern for a similar dress that you have inspired me to now do two-toned because it looks so cute with two different tones, the light denim and a dark one. I love how you've done this. This is awesome. And I want one. Where do I put in my order? This person here has made a backpack and actually quite a few of you have made backpacks. So I'm going to count this as one entry. I'm going to go through all of the backpacks. So this one is from Daryl Dub Dub. And I actually think that they put a tutorial up on their YouTube channel. So if you want to go find Daryl Dub Dub's Instagram and find their video, if you want to know how to make this, because it looks so good. This is such a cute backpack. So many of you made backpacks that it's made me really want to try to make one myself. I've never made a backpack before because I thought it looked really difficult, but because so many of you have tried it, I'm like, I want to try this out now. Maybe even out of denim scraps. This person here has made a very cute little backpack and this person here, and they lined it with gingham, which looks awesome. Ah, oh, progress photos, love it. Another backpack from Animals and Suits. I love that username. You made it from these two-tone jeans. Wow, amazing jeans, but they also look great as a backpack. Another backpack here from Sunny Peach. Like, these are all so good. I really want to try and make a backpack now. Make Me Cookies 90. Didn't you? Aren't you the person who made the pizza bag last in episode two? Yes. Oh my gosh. So, Make Me Cookies 90 is prolific in the Make Thrift Try world and has this time made a pair of overalls out of. You have a bin? Hang on, okay. The caption says, so for the Make Thrift Try Challenge, I had to first find my entire bin of old jeans. You have an entire bin of old jeans? How did you lose it? So the first one is a really cute overall dress and you have a very, very cute dog. Please give them a kiss from me. And the second project is this really cute gathered skirt that uses a couple of different pairs of jeans to add extra panels to the skirt, which is a really cool idea. Oh, there's your dog again. Oh, I love your doggo. <laughs> so many cuddles from me to your dog. Thank you. Oh, this person's username is Make Thrift Fan. 
That's awesome. So I really love what this person's done. They took a gingham shirt and a pair of old jeans and they chopped the bottom off the gingham shirt and made just cute little cuffs on the bottom of their jeans, which is such a good way to give new life to a pair of old jeans. It is genius. I want to do that to a pair of jeans now. That's amazing. And you ended up with a cute crop top to wear with it as well. So win-win. <sighs> okay. Everyone, stop. If you're looking at your phone, stop. You need to, you need to look at this. Look at the screen. Look at me. This person has made the most amazing, the most extra, the most early 2000s item. This is just the epitome of early 2000s fashion. This person has made platform shoes covered with denim, with denim ties around the ankles. So the shoes were thrifted and they were apparently lace covered. And then how did you get the denim on? Is it fabric glue? Is it stitched on? Wow, I love how you've done kind of a striped pattern around the strap on the back using the raw edges. They also said this is the first time they've done this. First time you've done what? Made something? Or made shoes? Either way, I seriously thought you've done this like thousands of times before because it looks so good. Like, how did you do this without knowing what you were doing? This is amazing. I can't get over this. I love this so much. You win, you win, make thrift. You win, make thrift try. This is not a competition. You don't win anything. Everyone wins. Chaos by Key has made this amazing denim jacket. I love the video showing how it all works and everything as well. Oh, cool. On the back, they've used some of like the jean loops to make loops on the back of the jacket and on the front here around the collar. Wow, and the top fly part and the button closure on the jeans has become the top part of the jacket. And the pockets from the jeans are two pockets on the front. This is so cool. I would absolutely wear this piece. They made it, oh good. They actually said how many pairs of jeans they made it from because I have been so curious. I wish more of you had said. This is from three to four pairs of old jeans. Apparently they have it for purchase. Maybe I should go buy it. It's not on their eBay. Have they already been sold? No. I don't know where I'd wear it because it's so hot in Australia, as I've mentioned. One day it might be cold again. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. What? Oh my God. That's Ella. Oh my God. Okay. You made a bag with my dog's face on it. Luli Lou, it's Luli Lou again. This is your third featured entry in Make Thrift Try. But oh my God. You painted me on a bag and now you have a bag of my dog as well. And you were so amazing at embroidery. That is such a detailed picture of my dog's face. Like I immediately knew it was Ella. And she looked so sad in that picture and so grumpy. She was having such a grumpy day that day. Oh, I love grumpy dogs. This is the, possibly the greatest thing to ever have existed. Is there any way you can send this to me? Totally fine if you want to keep it for yourself, but oh my God. And it has a little tassel on the side. You are so good at sewing and at embroidering and at painting and everything. Like, holy heck. Also, I really appreciate the progress photos because it just shows all the hard work that went into it as well. This is incredible. Luli Lu, you have one make thrift try. There are no prizes. And I don't, there's no, there's nothing that you get out of winning and you haven't won because everyone wins and that's unfair. We don't, we, no one wins in this system. Everyone wins, but you've won. Oh, look at the puppy and look at the really, really freaking cute bag. This person made a handmade denim bag from old jeans and also the lining material and the hardware, her, hard, bleh, hardware are all thrifted as well. Ah, oh, it has tassels on it. Wow. This is such a cute design. Oh, and the back. I didn't know. Oh, I didn't see the back before. This is so cute. Are they like cut out bits of fabric? This is awesome. What a cute bag. I think, oh my gosh, this would go absolutely perfectly with those denim platform shoes. You and the denim platform shoes person need to get together and make the coolest 2000s outfit of all time. The universe might explode, but it would be worth it. Whoa, okay, this person here, they have made, okay, this is a work in progress still of a blanket. So apparently this is the front side of the blanket. They have cut out how many squares? 15 by 11, 180, 180 denim squares. This is 
dedication. Oh, I am so glad that you have an industrial, semi-industrial, industrial? It looks pretty industrial, your sewing machine. I'm glad you have an industrial sewing machine for this. Wow, this must have taken a long time. This is gonna be such a nice, heavy, like weighted blanket with denim. They've also written an entire thing about uh, their process and how they've made it. You should go read it on a uh, Designed by GMP's post. Frau Carlson has made a gorgeous upcycled skirt out of some old jeans. Wait, what? <gasps> It's not! It's not a skirt! Okay, you you definitely tricked me. Apparently it's ruffled jeans, but it looks like a skirt. I love it! Apparently they also made a prototype on a Barbie doll, which is awesome. Look at the prototype Barbie! Oh my gosh, I love this. This is so fantastic. Everyone should make prototypes of their clothes on Barbie dolls first. So here's the Barbie doll version. And then, oh, progress photos, yes! And then they look like, looks like they chopped off the legs and then turned it into a ruffle and sewed it on the bottom. <laughs> I think the best thing about this is that you pose next to your Barbie doll so you could show both the prototype and the finished version. I really like ruffles at the moment, so I would love me a pair of ruffly jeans. I think I should try and upcycle some jeans. You've all inspired me so much. Get out of town. I can't believe this is Lulu Lou again. Lulu Lou has made another upcycled denim piece. You are a person of a million talents. They have made a plush doll. Apparently it's a French character called, I'm gonna butcher this pronunciation, Aurebilis. It's so cute. I love its little mustache and its little, not little, big eyebrows. Oh, what a sweet gift to make. Literally Lou, you have blown my mind. I'm gonna, be friends with you because you're fantastic. Be my friend please because you are amazing and I love all the things you create. My handcrafted closet has made the most amazing bustier. Apparently this top has been inspired by Lazy Oaf. They said that their jeans got really old um, so they bleached them and then made a bustier and then applique on this really cute Mike and Scully from Monsters Inc applique. I really love the bright green thread you used as the applique. So the bustier kind of reminds you of overalls or a pinafore with that pocket there on the front, except it's just a bustier top as well. I really love it. It's really creative. You're all amazing. <laughs> like, holy heck. I couldn't stop you. Oh, they're all so good. So thank you so much to everyone who entered. I really, really enjoy looking up the Make Thrift Tri Tag. It just makes my day every time I look at it. And I've just really enjoyed using it as a place to interact with you all and get to know you all a bit better. Now it's time to vote for the theme for the next Make Thrift Tri Challenge, Make Thrift Tri number four. Here are the options. Give the click on the one you like the best at the eye in the corner. The first is gingham, and or plaid. Now, I know these two prints are really similar, gingham and plaid, checkered prints, whatever, tartan, similar prints, right? But they are quite different. Gingham makes me think of picnic and sunshines, whereas uh, plaid makes me think of grunge and oversized shirts. So I'm kind of putting the two together in the same category, which is just category fabrics with crisscross patterns. Um, and if it wins, you'll get to pick either or or do both number two is mesh it's almost won twice um but it always just misses out it always comes second obviously there are a proportion of you that do want mesh to win so i'm putting it up for one more go to see if enough of you want to do it maybe it'll win number three fluffy fabrics i personally hate faux fur and anything fluffy, as I'm sure many of you watching this channel, I'm sure many of you seen Make Thrift by number four and you know this. However, I guess some of you want to suffer. <laughs> you all keep sending me suggestions of fluffy things on Make for Make Thrift by. Instead of me suffering, I thought you could in instead. So fluffy fabrics could mean anything from faux fur, plush, velvet, toweling, basically any kind of fabric with what's called pile. Number four, living coral theme. So Pantone announced that 2019's color of the year is this color here called Living Coral. So the brief is gonna be quite broad. You can basically make anything you want as long as it's the color of Living Coral. So vote for that if you want that to be the option for the next Make Thrift Try. And then finally, number five, the last suggestion is bum bags. I'm of the opinion that everybody should own a good bum bag. They're so useful, you can reach things really easily. 
And also they've become really trendy lately, so now is the time to make one. So vote for this if you want to make bum bags in any color, size, or shape. Even though it's just one item of clothing, I'm sure you'll all get very creative with this if it wins. So cast your vote now with the little eye at the corner of the screen. And after 48 hours, I will pick the winner from whoever has the most votes. And if there's two that are really close, then there will be two themes again, like there has for number one and number two. Now, obviously, if you don't want to, you don't have to share this on social media. You can just, you can just do it for yourself. It still exists, even if it's not on social media. But if you do want to share what you've made with the community and get the chance to be featured in a video, if you want that, then upload it to Instagram using the hashtag MakeThriftTry4, the number four at the end. I'd love to see both finished creations and also the works in progress, so please upload both and do progress photos if you can. So MakeThriftTry4 with four at the end. I absolutely love what everyone created for the denim upcycling project, and I just can't wait to see what you all choose and what you all create for this one. Get voting and I'll let you all know who wins two days from now on my social media, so that's Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, also on the YouTube community tab, and also in the comments down below. If you come back in two days time, you'll see it. And then it's time to get creative. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon and Coffee for making this video possible. To support these videos so that I can keep on making them, go to cohofenfi.com forward slash Annika Victoria for a one-off donation, or to support me on a continual basis, go to patreon.com forward slash Annika Victoria. Even if you can only give $1 a month, that is extremely helpful to ensure this channel keeps running.